Hi, this is Mohammed Athman in another video for Clonic ESD, and this time we'll discuss the use of a novel double balloon device for stabilization and traction. So we have a large uh, granular uh, lateral spreading coolant polyp in the transverse coolant. We're going to use a double uh, balloon device which is called dilumin. Initially, as you see here, we're injecting in front of the lesion. So for Clonic ESD, I prefer starting at the um, anal side of the lesion and instead of the oral side. For EMR, I would like to do the other way around, which is start at the oral side of the lesion, which is usually the distal part. So as you see here, we're injecting in the proximal side of the lesion, and I'm trying to inject uh, in an area uh, in front of the lesion to allow me to have a, a nice uh, margin. So you want to at least start your cut one centimeter away from the proximal side of the lesion. That will serve two purposes. One of them is to get clean margin, and the other one, when you are going to advance your endoscope through the cut, you will be directly under the lesion. If you are too close when you are doing your initial incision to the proximal uh, side of the polyp, you will end up having to pend your scope uh, to go under it. So as we see here with just the initial cut, the lesion is opening up and we're able uh, to dissect the proximal part of the lesion. So as we see here, the bluish part is the submucosa. The muscle layer is under it. You have to be careful. If you cut just a little bit down there, you will end up causing um, perforation because right now that is the muscle of the fold. So carefully uh, identifying um, your uh, area of dissection is very important and slowly going in, in the submucosa uh, in a systematic uh, fashion uh, from the right side to the left side. Now we created this nice lip uh, from the proximal side of the lesion. I'm using a clip and I'm using my double uh, balloon and the balloon as you see there is a front and back balloon. The back balloon I'm using it for stabilization and the front balloon I'm using it as a traction device. So from the front balloon there is a suture I connected that suture into the lip of the lesion and now I am pulling uh, this proximal balloon away to allow me to dissect under the tr under traction. So this is a very fibrotic part of the lesion. If I don't have traction, I may not have enough space to dissect this way. So now I'm carefully dissecting and using enough traction to uh, pull uh, the lesion away. I'm carefully also extending um, the margins. So you dissect and extend the margin till you reach the end or the last side of the lesion. So it is a meticulous process, but it is going very quickly right now because of the traction. And because of the traction too, you can stay away uh, from the muscle layer and avoid perforation. You can also see that although we are in a difficult, uh, to some extent difficult position, the scope is stable and we're able to dissect without any large movement. So I use Swift Coag with maximum 30 watt and I prefer Swift Coag for clonic ESD to allow gentle uh, coagulation and to prevent post uh, syndrome. You definitely can use Swift Coags or other setting in this situation. Okay. Uh, now we reach to the um, um, distal margin of the lesion, and the lesion now is completely removed, and we can inspect the post bed, and we can see here very minimal muscle injury. Definitely that would decrease the risk of post syndrome. Uh, we can also see that the lesion is completely attached to our front balloon, and when we are retracting uh, the dilumin device, we can retract uh, the specimen with it. Uh, we definitely can also close the lesion completely with clips to decrease the risk of bleeding and post syndrome. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you.